What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ukulai Espresso and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video here today on the channel. Today we're going to be talking about our game changes to Black Ops 3 with a recent patch here that went live and changed the game settings. There also was a lot of weapon tuning that went down behind closed doors here that not everybody really got a hold of the information, but you could probably feel a lot of these weapons did in fact get changed. So today we're going to be talking about is what got changed, what all was in this most recent game setting update, and what we'll see going forward here in Black Ops 3. So jumping right into it here, let's start off with the weapons that got tuned. Of those, they include the KN44, which got a 3HK range increase by 16.67%, and also a 30 damage range increase by 33.3%. So the range properties are a little bit changed up here on this one. The HVK has a 4HK range increase by 33.3%, and a 30 damage range decreased by 33.3%. The ICR has a range increase overall of 33.3%. The Shiva has a 2 HK, which if you're wondering what HK is, it's hit kill. So 2 hit kill range increased by 33.3%. The M8A7 has a 30 damage range decreased by 33.3%. And again, those damage ranges right about where that drop off is here in the damage. So the CUDA has an ADS time increase by 11.11%. The Weevil has a 30 damage range increase by 60%. LMGs, the idle amount sway is decreased by 50%. The Gorgon, the idle amount has actually been decreased by 75%. The Locust, its drop time has been decreased by 30%, and the raise time decreased by 46.67%. So the amount of time that the Locust now comes up and down is a lot quicker here in terms of what it was previously, which a lot of people might start quick scoping with this here again because it is a very viable option as well. The Black Cell, the reload add time was increased by 65%, so a little bit slower on this one. And the Scythe, the magazine size has been decreased by 25%. Now the big one that I saved till last was the Vesper. We're actually going to do a video on this tomorrow, probably about this by itself. This thing got nerfed to all hell and back. Firstly, the ADS time was increased by 11.11%. The center speed decreased by 10%. The sprint out time decreased by 9.09%. The hip fire spread standing minimum increased by 25%. The hip spread standing maximum increased by 10%. The idle amount increased by 33.3%. The idle speed increased by 33.3% as well. The gun kick itself as well also got an increase by 10%. The view kick pitch minimum was increased by 8.33%. And the view kick minimum magnitude increased by 50%. And the yaw increased by 16.67%. So basically the Vesper is garbage right now. I played with it a little bit last night, and it is a rough one. You'll most likely see it in tomorrow's footage, but I played with the stock weapon just to showcase the weapon plain and simple here with it, and there is so much done to it that the recoil, the view kick, all of that, it just deters from your gameplay altogether. So it's a rough one, but we got a little bit more stuff to talk about here with this. The next one I find actually really funny. This one is a combat axe buff here. The damage for the combat axe was increased by 33.3%. I don't think that I've ever seen anybody get a hit marker with a combat axe, but just in case they increase the damage here on this. But uplink, the satellite aim assist range got decreased by 100%. Moving into the score streaks category, the GI unit had its idle amount decreased by 75%. The server has got a massive buff here. The destabilization distance was increased by 900%. The projectile speed was increased by 42.86% on the AI launcher turret. The AI gun turret got also a big buff to it. The damage maximum was increased by 6.06% and the damage minimum was increased by 40%. Now, finally, the last things here with this are the attachments and these are actually quite big nerfs to these attachments. We'll save the biggest one here for last. But firstly, the Pharah's rapid fire got the time increased by 2.17%. The rapid fire on the XR R2 had its time increased by 4.6%, and the rapid fire on the M8 had its time increased by 4.44%. So the final one here, which is a deterrent to all SMGs, is Quick Draw overall had its ADS time increased by 100% doubled the ADS speed here. It now matches the ADS of assault rifles in Black Ops 3, so there's not really much advantage in terms of the ADS from SMGs to ARs now. 
they match each other, and the ADS now is very clunky on SMG. So that's something you want to keep in mind here whenever you go into another game and you decide, you know what, I'm going to throw Quick Draw on here for the SMG classes. Something we might need to reconsider now when building our class loadouts, but it's something definitely to keep in mind here. And that's going to wrap up this little patch notes here for you guys. Once again, this was recently added into the game. The game settings were changed, I want to say, about a week ago to a couple of days here that this then became relevant in massive quantities. We did see a little bit of weapon tuning backdoor in game here a little bit earlier than this, but this is where it all comes into play right now. So that's where we're going to wrap this video up here today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'd love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. What do you think of this? What do you think of the weapon tuning? What do you think of the quick draw nerf here? And what do you think of the Vespers massive nerf as well? Love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. But if you guys did like this video, be sure to like rating down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We're on that road to 30,000 subscribers, so every little bit does help, and is, as always, greatly appreciated. But thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Nicolai Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care, and peace.